Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So, can an LT40 actually mill 21 feet? This is a question that I ask myself, to be honest with you. I always tell my customers that Woodmeister says that this mill will mill 21 feet. But I've always told them that I really view that as 20 and a half feet, right? 20 feet, six inches. That's what I usually tell them. But in truth, I've never really had customers that wanted 21 foot length lumber. Usually the faller cuts the log at 20 and a half feet and I mill that, that's fine. Rarely does anybody want anything that's actually 21 feet. But this particular log, as you can see, <laughs> it's a long log. Now, is it 21 feet? Well, I'm gonna reveal that to you at the end of this video, but I will tell you, you can see that with the log up on the deck, we're having to move it around a little bit to try to get it in a position that we can actually mill it. Now the deck has two black marks on it that tell you that the log needs to be within that range. Now you'll notice there when I dropped the head that the, the band actually ran into the log itself. So I can't mill from there. I've got to have it at least enough clearance that I can raise and lower the head and move it around and start the band and get it going. So I kind of thought, well, maybe I can mill right here. So I went down, checked my center height, dropped the band back down again, but I was running into the log and I thought, yeah, I better not try to do that. I suppose I could have started the band and run it down and then milled, but I really didn't want to risk causing any problems. So I went ahead, lifted the log back up, tried to push it down to see if I could get a little bit more clearance. But as you can see, the band is still touching the log. So <laughs> we're really pushing the limits here. One of the problems with a big long log like this is that when you lower your roller tow boards, they tend to shift more often towards the saw head, not away from it. So I would lift it up, kind of wiggle the log with the tow rollers at the same time. I was pushing against it to try to see if I could get enough clearance. So I went back, I checked it out, got my pith height, made sure that I was looking good on the pith. I got it positioned. I thought, okay, we're good to go. We can go ahead and start milling this log up. I decided to time it right here to show you the amount of time it took me to run all the way down to the other end of the log. So if you watch that timer, it's gonna tell you. Now, any guesses, put them in the comments. How long do you think it's gonna take to do this? Don't cheat now, don't put it in at the end. <laughs> How long do you think it's gonna take me to mill all the way down to the other end of the mill on this log? Kind of amazing. I was really surprised because it always seems to me that it takes a long time. And yet, if you look here, boom, we come out of the log in 39.23 seconds. Now, I had to push that cap cut back because I couldn't raise the head. That's because the band wasn't completely out of the log. Just the teeth were sticking out the far end. So we got through it though. So we're gonna roll her up, get it up against the side support so I can take another cap cut. Away we go. Let's take another one. Now, I'm not going to run through the whole thing for this one. Out on the end. Now, watch the end. Watch the teeth on the end. Oh, they do not come all the way out. So, again, we had to pull the cap in order for me to lift the head up and pull it back. Now, we're going to roll it again. I'm just trying to build the cant now. Pretty crazy, I will tell you. Milling a log like this definitely poses some challenges. And yes, folks, you can actually mill 25, 30 more feet as long as you can support the end of the log and you're willing to do some chainsaw work. And I could talk about that in another video. But it is possible to actually mill quite a bit longer than the deck. There we are again, barely out of the end. So we've got to push the cap away. 
so that we can actually get the mill head back. Now there is a trick that you can do when you're milling 21 foot logs and that is you can actually remove the bumpers on either end of the main rail. You got to be really careful if you're going to do that. And I haven't done that. I haven't had to. Now I'm also using inch and a half bands. Had I been using inch and a quarter bands, it would have given me another half inch of clearance. So I would have had a little more room. But I will tell you, I was less than a tenth of a second away from entering the log when I started up the band. And I'm not clearing the far end with the log positioned where it is. Look at that, I didn't actually make it out the other end at all. So I had to fire up the saw again and pull back on that thin flitch cut that we made because I couldn't get it out. So the log had actually shifted down the deck a little bit and I didn't realize how far down the deck it had shifted. I moved it down just a little bit, get it back down so that I could just get enough clearance to get into it with the band without not making it out the other end. It's a real challenge, folks. You start getting into these long logs and you can do them, but boy, I tell you, it definitely poses some challenges and it's going to take you a little bit longer to mill something like this. This video is only 11 minutes long, but in reality, I was <laughs> it took over half an hour to mill this log. All right, we've got a position a little better now, so time to start making two buys. Look at that, you can see that the band is not out. It's only about halfway out the end of the log there. I told you I'd tell you at the end of the video and we're getting close to it. This log actually measured 20 feet 11 and a half in one measurement and 20 feet 10 and a half in another because of the way it was cut. So with the chainsaw not cutting perfectly straight, you are going to run into some problems. So we actually were about a half an inch at the longest point under a full 21 feet. So this is not technically 21 feet. Could you mill 21 feet? Yes, you can. Now, I was using inch and a half bands. Had I been using inch and a quarter bands, would have given me that extra half an inch or removing the bumpers would have worked. So there are a few tricks you can do to give you that extra little clearance so that you can mill these longer logs. I'll tell you another problem with long logs is that they tend to hang over the swing out bunks by quite a ways and that can cause flex on the log to kind of droop a little bit and so you do tend to have to roll them a little bit more and there you see i'm actually into the short part of the log so the band came all the way out finally now we're going to get the flitches done get those milled out of the way just right into it. No distance between that band and those flitches really.
So folks, there's your answer. This log was at its longest point, a half an inch under 21 feet. But yes, you can mill 21 feet on the Woodmiser LT40. It is a bit of a challenge. It's definitely going to pose some trouble for you. And positioning it on the deck is key, but there are a few tricks you can do to make sure that you can actually successfully mill 21 feet. Anyway, folks, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great weekend. The old jar hit out.